Good evening everyone. So, tourist evening and what are we doing this evening? Well, we are doing a little bit of ploughing. We're down, if you remember, this is a piece of land that we purchased a couple of years ago now. Uh, last year we done a whole drainage job on this end of it. It was quite a large dip in the field here. Uh, dipping down almost 10 feet uh, at one point. Uh, and it was always a wet area. Uh, so. What we decided to do is we, we dug out all the topsoil of this area. You can see there's a whole area here right around, uh, nearly in a basin, if you like. And uh, when we dug it out, uh, we then took the top off the hill up here. There's quite a, a hill up here just in the other field. Uh, and we drew it down in here. Done a couple of days drawing it down. Took probably about 10 foot off the hill and put it in into here. It was roughly around 10 foot. Uh, made a nice job of that hill field now. It's not as hilly. It's quite a flat top on it uh, And then in turn it got rid of this wet area uh, We left the topsoil set then for a few months last year uh, Topsoil all dried out drained out and we spread it back out on it now Didn't do anything with it all all uh, summer because it was quite wet, but it has dried out quite a bit now uh, I burnt it off Oh I suppose it's probably about two months ago and it is starting to green up a little bit but we're going to plough it up anyway and uh, we'll leave it for a few weeks and we'll reseed it then uh, inside the next couple of weeks we'll see depending on the weather again it's all everything's weather dependent uh, but you can see it it's it's soil now that has been disturbed uh, there's quite a few stones showing up in it here and there and they'll all have to be have to be lifted anything that's there after we power harrow it but yeah, we're ploughing it on one side uh, down to the drain. The drain runs along the bottom of it. Uh, so the idea is if there is any bit of moisture still there, hopefully it'll run uh, in the ploughing and, and help to dry it out another bit uh, before, we, before we do anything. But it, it has made a good job of this field and it will do now once it's reseeded. Um, but just going to walk down here and we'll, we look at the a couple of drains we put into it and see is there much water run now them so we're down there along the the drain here and we've located the two pipes uh, one of them you can see the stone coming out here uh, and you can just see the end of the pipe there there's no no water coming out of it and the other one which uh, runs at an angle straight over towards the gate uh, it's here and it's pretty much the same it's a uh, it's uh, you can see the water it's there just sitting in the water but there's no movement around it which points that there's no water coming out of it so uh, that's kind of what you want to see especially this time of the year but walking on the ground here uh, it's fairly it's fairly solid uh, and like this was complete another swamp at one stage the only wet area there is there's a, a place out here in the middle of it where there's still a little bit of a dip and you've got a little bit of a standing water there every time it rains it's just kind of keeping it sodden but i think i think now like when it's plowed and opened up it should it should help it to dry out um, but yeah i'll go over here and take a little bit of footage of the the tractor and the plow walking
So he's just coming through now that wet area I was talking about a few minutes ago. You can see the tractor was sinking down just before I started the video. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of trash through it there. You might have noticed it when he was plowing it up. Uh, see all these sticks and bits of roots and stuff like that. That was because uh, along here there was the remains of a bit of a ditch that went right down. Uh, there was only about 40% of the ditch still intact. A lot of it had been uh, knocked out by animals and uh, there was no fence on it so they were just walking in now through it but there was a couple of bits of uh, bushes and stuff like that so that was taken out and buried uh, and that's why you got all these roots and then in places then there could be the odd one then there was through the there was through the uh, we'll just watch them here see the as you get out through this wet area there he's spinning sinking Ah, uh, he's gonna get out of it. Yeah, you know he's okay. It's it's damp, but then once he gets the up past that initial area, then he's he's fine. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of stones through it too. So look at there's never going to be there was never going to be anything other than stones in it, considering that we took that whole lump of rock, dug it out, and put it down in here. Uh, it, you're never going to be putting spuds in it or grain or anything like that. It's a matter of get it turned over, dried out, how hard it, and get the grass seed into it and uh, just watch it then for those first year or two till it all settles down and we'll see what it's like uh, it still might have to go a little bit of a shore there in that wet area possibly but we'll we'll see how it does see how it does over the the first year or so uh, after we put the the grass seed back and it will stay clear with the tractor anyway here he goes again uh, sticking slightly but he's once he keeps moving forward he'll be fine and he'll soon be out of the worst part of it anyway, so... Tough going, but he'll get there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really what we're at this evening, just getting this plowed. And then, as I said, we're going to leave it then for, for uh, a week or two, just to dry out a bit, and then we'll we'll get, get the grass seed into it. Uh, hopefully, uh, when I'm power harrowing it, I'll take you along and get some footage uh, of of that work going on and we'll also get a bit of footage then whenever we we'll, uh, get the grass seed sown it. and we'll keep an eye on it then going forward as well i've been trying to make a wee video on this for a while a few people asking me about it uh, from last year so uh, i hope that uh, answers those questions from from those people who are looking to know uh, so that's that's where it is so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video it's not a very long video this evening uh, just said i'd make a quick video on just what was going on um, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit the sub button as he's getting stuck. He's going to have to lift the plow. And he's, he's out. Yeah, if you like this video, uh, hit the sub button. Uh, ring the little bell. Give me a like. And uh, leave me a comment down below. And we'll see you tomorrow.